and welcome back to Bedtime Stories with Fee. Thank you very much for joining me. Now don't forget you can buy some merchandise with Toxafuck logo on it if you would like uh, from my shop. So I'll put the link in the description below if you would like to go and check that out and see if there's anything that you would like that say Toxafuck on it. I'd love you to have t-shirts just like mine. That would be so much fun to know that you're watching me with your t-shirt on. But if you would like to go and have a look what there is, there's just some stickers or there's notebooks, there's bags, there's all sorts of things you can buy. So go and have a look. The link will be in the description below. Thank you very much. Now, today's story is called Norman, the slug with the silly shell. Ooh, a slug with a shell? That's not right, is it? Norman the slug thought snails were great. Wow, said Norman. Look at them. They're amazing. They do look pretty cool all balanced on top of each other like that, don't they? But poor Norman doesn't have a shell, so he can't join in. But unfortunately, the snails didn't think Norman was great. Whee! Crash! He jumped onto their tower and made them all tumble down. Can you say, wee! Crash! Crash! Norman, you silly slug, they cried. You've spoiled our fun. This only works if you've got a shell. Norman felt left out. Sadly, he sulked off into the moonlight. If only I had a shell of my own, he sighed, looking into his reflection. Can you see the moon looks a bit like a shell, doesn't it, on his back? And that when he had an idea. Maybe I could have a shell after all, he thought. <gasps> I wonder if you can think of anything that he could put on his back that would be a shell. Can you think of anything round? Like a plate he could use as a shell, couldn't he? But it might break quite easily. Can you think of anything else that's round? Hmm. Shall we see what he has a go with? But finding a shell was not as easy as it seemed. One was too bouncy. Boing, 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 boing. One was too noisy. And one was already taken. So the apple has already got a worm in it. So he can't use that as a shell. Norman needed time to think. Hmm, what can I use? Ta-da! A shell! That is a very cool shell, isn't it? It looks great and it looks like it's going to be able to do exactly what he wants it to. It was perfect. Norman had never been happier. He could join the snails at last. Norman loved being a snail. And the snails loved Norman's silly shell. <gasps> Look, he can balance with them all now. Can you say, yay! But the fun didn't last for long. Suddenly there was a loud flapping of wings. Look out, a bird, cried the snails in panic. Quick, slither for your lives or we'll end up a supper. <gasps> Oh no! What do you think the bird is after though? Do you think he's after the snails? I think he might be after that donut. But the bird was more interested in Norman's silly shell. It looked delicious. Do you like donuts? There are some delicious donuts out there, aren't there? Can you do a big yummy for me? <laughs> yummy! Norman was being carried up, up and away, higher and higher into the sky. What could he do? Norman did the only thing a slug could do. He made slime, lots and lots of it. With a slither and a slobber, a slip and a slide, Norman was free. So he made so much slime he could slither out. <gasps> But he was falling faster and faster and faster. What is he going to do? Until plonk. He's 
landed on the washing line. Norman, Norman, are you okay? asked the snails. Wow, said Norman. That was great. I love flying. If only I had wings. Oh no, he wanted a shell. Now he wants wings. I wonder what he could use as wings. Hmm, shall we have a look? Ta-da! He's using some pants. <laughs> and he's having a good fly around. And the bird is not interested in eating a pair of pants, is it? No. <laughs> that was Norman the slug with the silly shell. I hope you enjoyed that story. It is a bit of a silly one, isn't it? And you'll have to look out to see if you can spot Norman, whether he's got a shell on his back that looks like a donut, or maybe you'll spot him in the sky flying around with a pair of pants. Thank you very much. If you have enjoyed it, do give it a thumbs up to let me know. And I will be back again soon with some more stories. The link to my shop is down below if you'd like to have a look at that too. See you soon. Bye.